My friends, I made some real good progress on that K-Craft guitar, and I'll show you that. I'll tell you about a few other things, including how our jam turned out last night. We'll discuss all those things right after this. My friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. It is Wednesday, February 15th, and we did have a real good jam at Dickie's Barbecue last night. I thought it went over really well. Not super well attended. Our regulars were there, but not too many other people. A few walk-ins from time to time, and they seemed to enjoy the music as well. The thing that was different about this one for me was the hands. Oh my gosh, was there a lot of pain last night. I, I had to stop probably 20 times <laughs> and just let the you know pain subside before I could go back to playing. It was really a painful evening. I don't know, it, you know, the handwriting's on the wall. I have the good days and the bad days with the hands, but there's a lot more bad days these days than there are good ones. Regardless of that, uh, it, went to, it was a good jam, and I think everybody had a good time. Yeah, I made real good progress on the K-Craft guitar. Looky there. Yep, the neck came out. I uh, for, started by loosening this uh, extension off the top. Then I drilled the two little holes and I fortunately hit the pocket perfectly, so that worked out great. You know, I tried wiggling it loose and stuff, and you could tell it wanted to come loose, but it wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna come loose on its own. So I put the steamer in there, steamed it for about five or ten minutes, and got the neck out of it. I think, you know, I'm definitely uh, less than an hour, probably around 30 or 40 minutes into the guitar so far. So that's not too bad to get this far along that quick. So I'll be uh, working on uh, setting that new neck angle. To do that, I will have to put the cone and all that back on here uh, so that I can align the angle to the uh, bridge that's there or the saddle or how, whatever you really want to call that. It's kind of a bridge saddle combination in, in a way. Yeah, it's kind of a unique setup, but uh, it's what had to be done. I don't know if I mentioned to you before, but you know, this guitar had been in the shop before and you can see all this wrinkled cone. This thing was just crushed when it came in the first time. And I, you know, more or less beat all that back out into place and got it fairly level. It sits in there pretty good now compared to the way it showed up. But anyway, uh, we got to put it back together now in order to set the neck angle and hopefully that'll go fairly easy and we can get this project behind us fairly quickly. I thought I'd also uh, tell you that uh, yesterday I spent uh, several hours making a few more deer antler saddles and I was assisted by my wife as she has decided she wants to try her hand at making the deer antler saddles. You all know she runs the bobcats and does all those kinds of things and she is kind of a crafty person so uh, we worked on the uh, saddles yesterday afternoon and I let her finish them up and uh, she did a pretty good job. I ended up making five. Two of them I already sent out on uh, orders and then my wife finished up these other ones here. They, uh, they do have a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, natural, uh, that's part of the natural antler there, that brown. It just kind of is what it is, you know. You, you're working with a tiny little a uh, bone that's crooked and curved and man the hardest part is getting these rectangular shapes out of that curved twisted bone and doing it so that you have a minimal amount of porosity and that's really very difficult once you get them rectangle the rest of it is fairly routine uh, there's nothing routine about getting the rectangular shape out of that though very difficult <laughs> I can't even tell you how difficult that is. It's on a scale of one to 10, you're getting real close to a 10 <laughs> on difficulty. So uh, that part there is, is the part that's gonna be tough for her, you know, so that you don't waste a lot of antler too, because the antler is a precious commodity since I'm reliant upon you guys to send it to me for the most part, that's where I get 90% of it. So if you do have extra antler laying around and you don't have a use for it, please send it to me. My address is on my website, rosastringworks.com. Thank you. Quite honestly, it's a little soon to know whether or not 
she's going to be able to stick with making these saddles or not, but uh, I'm hopeful and I think she'll do a good job. My plans for today are, as soon as I finish with this vlog and getting it uploaded, is uh, to get into the uh, office and start editing the next video, which is going to be the setup of a Martin guitar, which I worked on recently. I showed it in a daily vlog. It was already set up really well, but I tweaked a lot of things on it and maybe you'll enjoy seeing those tweaks. After I finish editing that video, I won't get a break because the young man that I've been giving his timing lessons is going to show up. And he's doing so well that I might uh, get him on camera this, this afternoon. And tomorrow then you'll be able to see a little video clip of him playing and singing. Uh, he did really well in the jam last Friday night. I had him sit right next to me, as I told you. He seemed to enjoy the jam even more because he played pretty much the whole jam. It, it, it's just more fun when it's right, and his timing was right, and uh, everybody else you know, seemed to enjoy him playing even more at the jam. So I'm pretty happy with the way it's all turned out, and I think he's pretty happy too. So if that works out, hopefully tomorrow you'll get to see a video clip of him playing and singing. That's going to be about it for today, keeping it kind of short, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.